Today we're learning about sustainable drainage systems, otherwise known as SUDs. We're going to travel around the region to find out about the different schemes we're doing with our partners to help with flood management and reduce storm overflow discharges in your local area. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the Science Behind with me Guy and today I've got Hayley with me. Hi Hayley. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing very well thank you. Good, excellent. And Hayley, what do you do for Yorkshire Water? So I'm a Nature Based Solutions Advisor and I'm helping the team deliver the company's Nature First commitment and that's all around embedding Nature Based Solutions into the core of our business. Excellent. And what are we looking at today? So today I'm going to take you around a range of suds and help you understand the benefits they bring to the communities around them. Brilliant. What's the first one we're going to look at? So we're going to be joined by Sarah and she's going to take us around a wetland. Perfect. Let's do it. So Sarah, what are we doing here today? We're in Dromfield today and I'm going to show you one of my favourite Yorkshire water suds. So Sarah, can you tell us what suds are? So suds are a nature-based alternative to underground pipes and tanks. So they manage water locally and replicate natural drainage processes and also bring lots of wider benefits. So suds come in all shapes and sizes. So the one today in Dronfield is an example of a really big suds asset, but they can also be planters, water butts, permeable paving, or as you saw in a previous Science Behind video, bioretention strips. So suds have such a wide range of benefits. Could you tell us a little bit more about them? Yeah, so in Yorkshire, over half of our sewer network is combined, which means rainfall um, goes underground into pipes and is mixed with wastewater from our homes. So suds can really help in reducing the amount of rainwater that's entering the combined networks, and that helps to reduce flood risk and to reduce the discharges at storm overflows. So suds are designed to four pillars. So that's water quantity, water quality, nature and amenity. So well-designed suds can give us a vast array of benefits and by not hiding the water underground we can use the water as a resource for people and for nature. So could you tell us a little bit more about the work we've done here? So this detention basin was actually built in the 1970s to serve a residential development which at the time was the biggest development in Europe. So it has a really prominent position with homes and businesses surrounding it and it has real opportunity to provide meaningful benefits to the community. So what does this type of suds do? So this is a two hectare area of land which collects the rainwater from the surrounding development and stores it so it releases it slowly downstream. But it's also got a wetland planted into the bottom channel so that allows settlement of any sediments and uh, removal of nutrients as well. So it's really great at improving the water quality before it discharges into the Lee Brook. What benefits does it bring to the wider community? So this asset is helping Yorkshire Water to deliver our drainage duties to the properties surrounding it and it's also um, supporting the Leebrook Valley to achieve their vision of a one kilometre nature corridor through the Leebrook Valley. That sounds great. So where are we heading to next? So let's head over to Doncaster and we'll have a look at a completely different type of suds. So we're now here in Doncaster. Sarah, could you tell me a little bit more about what we're doing here? So we're at a primary school, which is one of the sites that the DIG partnership are working on. So DIG is a DEFRA funded partnership between Yorkshire Water, Anglian Water, North East Lincolnshire Council and Doncaster Council. So this partnership is using suds to boost uh, flood resilience, biodiversity and health across Doncaster. And what we're going to see here today is part of a wider programme of suds installation across the whole of Doncaster. So what benefits does this project have? So this is a downpipe planter. So what this does is intercept uh, the rainfall before it reaches the sewer and goes underground. So rainfalls on the roof as normal is collected by the uh, traditional gutter system, but then um, it's intercepted into this planter, uh, which slows the flow before it then overflows into the sewer network. So these are also great in summer because when um, we're short of water in the summer months, we can use every drop of rainwater that falls will be used by the plants, which also reduces our reliance on uh, using tap water to uh, feed our plants in our garden. So the planters are great because they also create a home for nature and they're an amazing learning resource for the kids. They are, it's great. 
It's been great to see the work we've done here in Doncaster. Now let's head over to Hull to see the work we've been doing there. So we're now over on Rosmead Street in Hull and I'm here with Emma. So Emma, what do you do for Yorkshire Water? So I'm Manager of Strategic Partnerships at Yorkshire Water and I'm also the General Manager for our Living With Water Partnership. Could you tell us a little bit more about the Living With Water Partnership? Of course, so Living With Water is a partnership between Yorkshire Water, local authorities, Hull City Council, East Riding of Yorkshire Council and the Environment Agency with an academic partner, University of Hull and it's all focused around making Hull and the surrounding area more resilient to surface water flood risk. So what have we done here on Rosmead Street? So here we have worked collaboratively to install a full street of permeable paving. So that's working collaboratively to design and fund and deliver this project. Basically underneath the surface, we have a layer of, of permeable material. And on the top, we have stones which allow rain to fall and then filter through as if it was landing on a permeable surface like grass. Could you tell me some more about the benefits? Of course, so we have created flood storage so that will reduce the risk of properties flooding locally but we've also coincided our investment with a project from Hull City Housing so we can see that we've got some lovely new fences and frontages to the properties and that all works together to move water um, to the place we want it to be rather than risk it going in kind of homes and locally we have kind of delivered wider regeneration benefits and we're going to meet our lo lovely resident Arthur who's going to tell you a little bit more about the impact this scheme's had on him. So we're now here with local resident Arthur. Thanks for joining us today. Pleasure. So Arthur, how long have you lived on Rosmead Street? Yeah, since the 1980s. 1980s. Could you tell me a little bit more about what it was like before we added the permeable paving? Yes, uh, obviously we had the uh, gullies uh, in the street and, and they weren't cleaned uh, often. Mm. And when it used to rain, it used to flood the street. Uh, also, back in 2007, when we had the floods, uh, the water came within eight foot of my house from Rosmey, you know, from the David Lister site. Mm -hmm. So, I was a bit worried then, you know. We had to bring all the animals in, because I, I had rabbits and tortoises, and we had to bring them into the house. How has the work we've done made an impact? Quite a difference. Uh, when it rains, you see no water, it just goes straight down. You know, uh, everything's clean and that, and uh, you know, can't fault it one bit. And the road, uh, ev everybody who doesn't live down the street are all envious of our road now. Finally, I'd like to thank Living With Water teams, Yorkshire Water, the Environment Agency, Hull City Council and East Riding Council for making our street a lot cleaner and drier. So we're now over at the University of Hull. So how was spending time with Arthur? It was really great to see Arthur and understand the positive impact that the partnerships had on him and the community around him. So Hull University are the academic partner of Living With Water, so we're here to see some more suds and find out a little bit more about them. Could you tell me a little bit more about the partnership? Yes, yeah, so the main purpose is to reduce flood risk and we do that through investment but also increasing community resilience we look at how the schemes we deliver can increase kind of economic regeneration by improving place and then critically is sharing knowledge so how do we learn from others and how do we share our learning one of the key ways we're doing that is monitoring and testing the new suds we're putting in and around the city and that's what Hull University are doing so why don't you go and meet some of the experts at Hull University who can tell you a little bit more great so I'm now here to meet Hannah and Josh from the University of Hull. Hiya. So could you tell me a little bit more about what you do for the University of Hull? So I work in the SUBS lab team that studies the effectiveness of sustainable drainage features. And I'm also a researcher in the SUBS lab team and I lead on community engagement. Could you tell me a little bit more about the relationship between Yorkshire Water and the University of Hull? So here at the University of Hull, we are working closely with Yorkshire Water through the Living With Water partnership to monitor how effective SUDS infrastructure is. So for example, we're here next to a swale um, and what we're doing here is monitoring how effective the swale is um, at managing the runoff from the car park that's behind us. So do you have any other SUDS on site? Uh, yeah, we've got a rain garden just around the corner. Fab, let's go have a look.
So Josh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so what we've got here is a flow meter, which is measuring the amount of rain that comes off the roof. And then the rain garden itself, we've got a soil moisture probe, which is telling us how wet the soil is. So we're now here at a weather station. So could you tell me a bit more about how this helps your research? So among other things, this monitors rainfall, um, which is a very important factor in determining the effectiveness of sustainable drainage. So thanks both for having me here at the University of Hull. It's been really interesting to see how you're researching the effectiveness of suds. Thanks Hayley, we're really excited to share our findings in the future. It's been great showing you around. So that was the science behind suds. Hayley, thanks for showing us around. You're welcome. It's been really great to show everyone around the different types of sustainable drainage systems we have here at Yorkshire Water. Excellent. And if you like the video, please don't forget to give us a like. Or subscribe to the channel. And leave us a comment in the section below if you've got any questions. And well, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.